Morning and military strikes in Israel. The Israeli Air Force launched airstrikes in the Gaza Strip and military raids in the West Bank. That's where three missing Israeli teens were found shot dead on Monday. They were laid to rest Tuesday as long simmering Israeli Palestinian tensions grow. Matthew Kalman joins us now from with the latest from Jerusalem. And, and Matthew, what's the mood there? Well, it's been a day of grief and anger here in Israel. A somber mood settled over the whole country as tens of thousands of people descended on the city of Modi'in in the middle of Israel, and three funeral cortèges uh, gathered from three different places, and they all gathered in Modi'in. The mourners were led by Israeli President Shimon Peres and the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who both praised the parents and families of, of the slain teenagers for the courage and fortitude that they'd shown and also vowed to track down their killers and bring them to justice. Uh, but a somber mood throughout the whole country as people stayed glued to their radios and television sets watching uh, an hours-long funeral uh, procession and ceremony live on television, uh, very little music being played, uh, very little entertainment going on, and the whole country joining in mourning uh, for those three slain teenagers found dead yesterday. And Matthew, what might the Israeli government do next following the killing of these teenagers? Well, there's a lot of anger in Israel here tonight. Calls for Israel to annex the West Bank, to destroy Hamas, uh, to round up thousands of Palestinians. We know that more than 400 Palestinians have been arrested in the last two weeks, uh, and the houses of the uh, terrorists responsible for the killings have been destroyed. Uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that he would reach the murderers, that Israel would strike at Hamas in both the West Bank and Gaza. Uh, there were calls on the streets of Jerusalem tonight and, and, and several people were arrested by the Israeli police, Israelis who threatened to attack Palestinians. But Israel seems set for a major military operation, as, uh, prime, as the President Shimon Peres said, uh, to, to root out terrorism uh, throughout Gaza and the West Bank. All right, Matthew Kalman reporting from Jerusalem. Thanks.